So we have evidence. We have caught in 4K, caught from ring.com. You know the ring doorbell? Apparently, um, Steven Crowder has one at his backyard patio. And he got caught in 4K abusing his wife. Is it true? Did Steven Crowder really abuse his wife? Well, I mean, hey, let's find out. We got the video right here. Three and a half minutes of uh, keck-worthy material. Let's play it. I drew a boundary. I drew a boundary. No, no, you just did, you just did it. I drew a boundary of abuses and cruel. You were not taking the car. Because if you refuse to do wife with things, then I will go pick up the groceries. So she's refusing to give the dog the medicine. This dog right here. Apparently this dog needs medicine, right? Now, here's the, import, here's the important background information. In this video, I think his wife is like eight months pregnant, right? At eight months pregnant, you are extremely emotional. Very emotional. And she is asking him at eight months pregnant if she can go pick up the groceries. Check this out. If I was making hundreds of thousands of dollars a year and I was done at work by noon and I go home and I'm just chilling on the couch and my wife, who was eight months pregnant with twins, asked me to go pick up groceries. It's like, hey, can I borrow the car to pick up groceries? I would say two things. One, no, I will pick them up. You can chill at home. I don't want you driving. I don't want you in the public. You know, you're, you're about to give birth. I want to keep you safe kind of thing. Or two, I'll drive with you. Let's go. He's not doing work right here. Steven Crowder's just chilling on a... You know what? I bet this outdoor um, furniture together, they probably bought this as a set, at least $5,000. And they have one car. This dude's rich. This dude is rich. Has one car. What? So his wife doesn't want to give the dog medicine. Why? Why does she not want to give the dog medicine? Because she is scared that the medicine might be bad for the baby. Is it? I don't know. But she doesn't know. And he doesn't know. The reason I don't know is I don't know what kind of medicine they're giving the dog. The reason why she doesn't know is because she probably heard something on Facebook and is concerned, but she's getting emotional over the health of her children. Hey, hey, I'm cool. I, 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 am, I am okay with a woman getting emotional because she wants her children to be healthy. I like those emotions. Yeah, keep those emotions. I'll educate you if it's not. But those emotions are good. So this dude who came, you know, he didn't, Steven Crowder's not breaking bricks. He's not doing landscaping. Steven Crowder isn't doing machine work. He's not a mechanic. His job is sitting in front of a camera and pretending to be an alpha. That is not very tiring. That doesn't take a lot of energy. It doesn't. He is so lazy. He can't give this dog. Looks like a pit bull. Uh, it's medicine. And, and when he says, if you're not doing your wifely duties, bro, your wife is eight months pregnant. Dude, your wife is eight months pregnant. She's scared the medicine is dangerous to the baby. Probably not, but she's a scared eight month pregnant woman with twins. And you're telling her, I'm not going to let you get the groceries unless you do your wifely duties. She's like, Stephen Crowder, bro, are you going to get the groceries? Like, are you going to get them? Like, if I'm not going to get them, who's going to get them? You're not. You're chilling here with your pigeon chest. What's a pigeon chest? Pectus ex vacorum. 
the congenital defect that Steven Crowder had, he had to get surgically repaired. It's when your ribs grow. It's like a, basically a divot in your sternum and ribs. Right? He's got a pigeon chest. He's sitting, he's chilling on the couch saying, you're not going to get the car because you're not doing your wifely duties. Is this abuse? Uh, no, not really. This is more just Steven Crowder being a, <laughs> this is, this is Steven Crowder being a, con I want to say controlling because I'm very controlling. It's Steven Crowder being stupid. It's Steven Crowder being stupid. Telling your eight months pregnant wife that she can't use the car to get groceries because she doesn't give the dog its medicine is one of the stupidest things I've ever heard. So yeah, this isn't particularly abusive. This is just stupid. Wood pellets, my grill. I know it's not a reasonable request, but I'll go do it. How about you first? Hillary, how do you respect the man? This <laughs> this guy cannot separate his show from his personal relationships. He <laughs> he's like Hillary. That's his wife's name. How do you respect men? Bro, you're not talking to a debate, bro. You're not talking to a leftist. You're not talking to someone on an intellectual stage. You're talking to your wife who is eight months pregnant with twins. In his whole argument, he's trying to be alpha. How do you respect men? You respect them by doing what they say. Um, hey, Steven Crowder, how do you respect your pregnant wife with twins of eight months? You cater to their emotional needs within reason. You're like, but what if my eight months pregnant wife wants to strip? No, that's not within reason. Here's something that's in reason, though. Your wife is pregnant with twins at eight months. She's scared of giving a dog medicine because she thinks it's going to affect the kids. How much effort, Steven, does it take your pigeon chest ass bitch made body to get off this lazy boy sofa, go into the kitchen, get your dog's medicine, and give it to the dog? Huh? Hmm? People act like when Chronic says, I want uh, no hymen, no diamond, I want a woman to submit to me, then it means she's a slave. No, it means she goes after my decision. My decision, you know, it's not always what I want to do. I'm chilling on this couch. My pregnant wife comes up. I'm scared of this medicine to give to the dog. So me spending 10 minutes, 15 minutes, Getting this dog to take the medicine is just 50 minutes, 15 minutes of my time being annoyed or whatever. She's scared of it, right? She's scared of it. Nah, do it. I'm going to keep on dominating you. Okay, whatever. No, you're not taking the car. Steven, you're not taking the car. Steven, you are not. Then I will ask them to pick me up. Would you like me to ask? Was that a threat? Your wife just said, if I'm not using the car, I will ask someone to pick me up and go to the grocery store. Who do you want me to ask? And this guy who... It, it, this is pathetic. This is pathetic. This is absolutely pathetic. Crowder needs to be control of everything. Steven Crowder needs to control everything. If he says, you're not leaving the house because you haven't done what I said. 
And she's like, um, can I have a friend pick me up? She literally said, who should I ask? Like, tell me who you trust. And he's just like, was that a threat? Are you threatening me? <laughs> Did you just say I had to choose someone I trust to help you get groceries for my house? Are you threatening me? Oh, <laughs> oh my God. Oh. oh, this is pathetic. This isn't a commentary on male-female relationships. This is a commentary on weak, pussy-built grifters. Look at this. Look at how he acts on his show. On his show, he is an alpha giga chad who dominates the world for his woman. In real life, he thinks his wife getting a ride to the grocery store from one of his friends is a threat. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh, this guy's such a beta. Let's see Give it an Uber. Okay, Stephen, I can't. Okay, let's see if you can do it. Okay, Stephen, I can't. Feeling some constraints? Stephen. Like, I can't Steven. go. I, listen to me. Listen to me. He told her to get an Uber? Bro. I will never. I will never have my pregnant wife ride in an Uber or a Lyft. Like, you like, go get an Uber. You know what you could do, Steven? You can get your ass off, off that couch because you don't do any hard work during the day. You pretend to be an alpha and you could drive your wife, who's about to give birth, to the grocery store. Oh, this is pathetic. You want to walk out right now? Listen to me. I can't go to the gym. I can't go to my parents. I can't call my friends. I can't go. I can't be home. You're going to take the car and leave me here. They have one car. His excuse is I can't go to the gym. I can't see my parents if you go to the grocery store. Stephen Crowder, here's an idea. Drive your wife to the grocery store. Even better. Have your wife drop you off at the gym. Then she goes to the grocery store. She gets the groceries. Then she drives to the gym. And you go home together. Oh, here's another idea, Stephen. You want to see your parents? Have your parents go with your wife to the grocery store. And people are like, you know, if it was me, it's like, I can't, I've had this issue before. I tried it. A little goth girl I was dating for about half a year. I was the one with the car. She didn't. I was like, yeah, I'll just drop you off at the grocery store and go to the gym. So we did that. 30 minutes into my lift. Hey, I'm done. Can you pick me up? I'm like, uh, but you know what I did? I didn't tell her to wait. I didn't tell my goth girlfriend of six months to sit there for 30 minutes because my time is so valuable. I stopped my lift, I picked her up, and then I carried all the groceries in one load into the house. Steven Crowder has a net worth of $20 million. That's the most amazing thing about this, guys. $20 million and you act like you're in poverty. Yikes. This might be one of you know, the few times you're going to see Kron defend a woman. That's because I hate, I hate trad con cuckolds. This is the trad con, right? This is the guy saying, if you just dominate a woman, if you just do this, everything will be okay. And this is how he acts at foam. No wonder she's divorcing your ass. Dude, no wonder. I, I could not be a roommate of this dude. I don't even want to be the dog. This dog is looking out because it wants to run away. Nobody wants to live with this miserable, sorry excuse of a man. Hillary, just think of how boxed in you've made me. What do you need me to pick up? I'll get it. I'll be back when I'm back. No, that doesn't work either. You'll be back when you're back. 
Y Hugo, there's no one either. <laughs> this is, Steven Crowder is arguing like a woman here. He just wants control to have control. What is he doing that control? Nothing useful. He's doing nothing useful. He's like, it doesn't work either. I'm like, bro, you're worth $20 million. Buy a second car, bro. Like, good God, buy a second car, you dumb neocon cuckold. Oh, my gosh. Do you understand the difference between one life being set to the second and you're going to the back on back? Who makes argue, who makes giant arguments over little issues? She's going to be gone for at max one hour, guys. She'll be gone for an hour. And they have to argue for three minutes. He has to like tell her, what does it mean to submit? What does it mean to do this arguing her like he's on a show? You know, in my life, every time a simple situation got exploded into a giant emotional battle, it was a woman who did that. So, Steven Crowder has the mind of a woman. It doesn't surprise me. I, I kind of understand why. So, <sighs> the amount of stress this dude is causing his heavily pregnant wife to experience because she wants to get groceries. She wants to get groceries. Because you know what? When a person is stressed... They secrete a hormone called cortisol. Cortisol. It does a lot of crazy stuff. Raises your blood sugar. Lowers your immunity. A ton more stuff. That cortisol. Being released from her brain. Goes straight to her kids. In utero. And kids in utero that experience massive cortisol levels are more likely to get diabetes, mental illness, heart disease, and cancer. So your emotional needs to be in control of everything with your stupid ass socks. So I look at these socks, bro. I had the, you're outside. Your, I had these socks when I was in middle school, $20 million dollars. Can't even buy decent socks or slippers to wear outside. You want to be right. You want to be dominating because you don't feel like you're dominating in work. You are causing your children to be more likely to have diabetes, bro. Oh, my. <laughs> oh, what a trade off, guys. Oh, what a trade off. The only way out of it is discipline. It's the only way out of it. It's the only way out of it. We're at an impact. We are going to get past. Good. Because you can't have any discipline. Yeah. yeah. There Steven. you go. You throw your hand. You give up so easily. I don't give up so easily. You, know, you give up so Steven. easily. I, I, I just said the only way I. He just said the. <laughs> he was like, you need to listen to what I say. And then when she's like, okay. He's like, you give up so easy. He's giving. <laughs> he's giving like advice for his son to his wife. He's like, you need to, you need to submit. And she's like, okay. He's just like. You submit too easily. Oh, my. <laughs> oh, my. This guy is so stupid. <laughs> you give up too easily. No, she just submitted. This did what she wanted her to do, bro. Oh, my. <laughs> He's like, you give up too easily. Oh, my gosh, bro. This is, <laughs> this is so sad. Honestly, look. I feel bad for the wife. I really feel bad for the wife. This is discipline and respect. You said, then we're at an impasse. Steven, no, we are at an impasse, okay? I love you, but Steven, Steven, your abuse is sick. Your abuse watch it. is sick. Watch it. Fucking watch it. I'm going to let go. I'll get what you need to get. And I, I need some space. We need to just talk and baby for a little bit, okay? I love you. I love you very much. I don't love you. That's the oh! Oh! <laughs> oh! 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 Oh!
you get in a fight, a verbal fight, with your wife, who is about to give birth to twins, and she says, look, I need space, I love you, I love you very much, and you know what he says? He says, I don't love you. Oh my God, this guy is horrible. Are we sure that she isn't the man and he isn't a woman? Oh my God. Look, um, would I, um, would I classify this as abuse? Honestly, yeah, I would. I mean, if I was dating, I've dated chicks where it's just like, they do the shit to me that Steven Crowder did to his wife, and it was abusive. Because like, he knows or he thinks that she can't leave. She's pregnant. He's rich. And so he could verbally abuse her. Well, that's verbal abuse. Like, you're fat. <laughs> it's like, I'm pregnant. Okay. And there's like, I don't love you. Let's just, let's just play that again because uh, we need to get this through here. Okay, I love you. I love you very much. I don't love you. That's the big problem. I've never received love from you. And the fact is when I... Oh, man. Oh, my goodness. I've never received love from you. This chick gave you twins, bro. This chick gave you twins. I don't think she cheated on you. She is asking you for permission to use your one car to get groceries to feed you and herself and therefore your children. And... Uh, If you have never felt love from a woman, why would you marry her? Why would you impregnate her? This is, man, this is bad, guys. This is bad. I go, look, I need you to do A, B, C, and D. Just put it on if you don't. No. But I love you more than life itself. Okay. Put on some gloves. No. But I love you more than life itself. That's not fair. That's not fair, and it's disingenuous. Hillary? He is arguing with his pregnant wife over some trivial bullshit like he's arguing with destiny on a debate stream. I've been called a red pill extremist. I've been called a misogynist. I've been called a turbo incel. I've been called king of incels. I've been told I don't see women as human. I would never... I would never treat my pregnant wife like that. Never. It's disgusting. This is... This is what happens when a homosexual man impregnates a woman and marries her. This is what happens. Actually, you know what? I take that back. Because there's stories of dudes who are in the closet, deep in the closet. They marry a chick because they don't want to be seen as gay. This is old school. This is like the 80s, the 90s, the 70s. They marry a chick. They have a couple kids. And then when he's 40, he goes, I'm actually gay. That guy is an asshole, right? Because he wasted his wife's life like that. But I don't think those gay guys that use a wife as a shield to be seen as straight, they don't talk to their wives like this. So Steven's worse than that. You're right, right then, Pastor. Become someone, let's see it, day in and day out, worthy of a wife, worth, no, not as a wife. I didn't say as a wife. Hillary, Hillary, come on now. I'm not going to engage. I'm not going to engage anymore. I'm going to go. I'll get texting what you need. I'll get you to you. I, I love you. I'm committed to you. Also, notice 
Notice Steven Crowder smoking his cigar right next to his pregnant wife. <laughs> oh my! Oh my! <laughs> um, <laughs> he's smoking his cigar right in front of his pregnant wife. Oh my! <laughs> wow! Wow! So you don't care about your wife. You don't care about your kids, bro. You don't care about your kids. You're like puffing tobacco smoke right in front of your wife's face who's pregnant with your kids. <sighs> What's the value of a guy that exposes his pregnant wife to secondhand smoke. He says, I love my kids. What does love mean to you, Stephen Crowder? Does it mean you would sacrifice your own well-being for the safety and security of your children? Yes, that's what it means. Why are you smoking in front of them? And it's not a, you don't want to, you, you don't want to set a bad example. Nicotine is a vasoconstrictor. It causes blood vessels to constrict and get smaller. Right? So the reason why a pregnant woman shouldn't smoke is if they smoke, the blood vessels in the placenta, the part of her that gives nutrition to the babies, she's got two because she's pregnant with twins, there's a ton of tiny vessels, tons of vessels. And so she smokes. Those vessels constrict. Some of them die. Some of them get small. Clots can form, congenital defects can form, heart problems can form, tons of stuff can form. Him smoking in front of her is not as bad as her smoking, but it's still bad. So you love your kids, but you can't put the cigar down long enough not to expose your wife to secondhand smoke. You know who else says they love their kids, but they really don't through their actions? Single mothers. Steven Crowder is exhibiting single mother behavior. I love my kids. They're innocent. And during his like announcement on his show, he's like, my children are innocent. My children are innocent. My children are innocent. Steven Crowder, you're the one putting your children in danger, bro. You're the one that's a problem to their well-being. And you're going to tell me you love your kids? Bullshit. Bullshit, bro. Bullshit. He's only telling his wife to put on gloves. What, you got to take it into the boxing ring? Oh, yeah. <laughs> are, are you going to give your wife a right hook? <laughs> Notice how he's not like this with any of the guys he debates with. I've never seen Steven Crowder tell someone to fight him. But you know who he is trying to fight? His wife, who's pregnant at eight months. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You're not committed to anything. You're not committed to anything. You just said I love you. I'm committed to <laughs> This guy is horrible. Oh, my gosh. Lord forbid I have a daughter. And Lord forbid she marries someone like Steven Crowder. Because I'd let him put on gloves. I'm not putting gloves on. I don't need gloves to teach him a lesson. He's acting so... <laughs> One time he acts tough is against a pregnant woman. <laughs> oh, my... Oh, it's pathetic. Walk the dogs, put on some gloves. Walk the dogs, put on some gloves. Are you committed enough to do those things? Are you committed enough to do those things? I'm good. Look how out of shape he looks right here. When you go to his show, his arms look kind of big. I guarantee you he's wearing pads on his arms. You notice he always wears a long sleeve t-shirt. I never get to see the guns like raw. It's always a long sleeve t-shirt. Yeah, he looks so ripped right now. No, he doesn't. Put on some gloves. Are you committed enough to get the medication? Don't you take, take the 
As the Crowders head inside, Stephen gets angrier and angrier, and by his own admission screams, I will fuck you up. <laughs> oh, my, oh, my, oh, my God. Oh, 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 man. You know what? Case closed. Stephen Crowder is abusive. Yeah, I agree with it. No, I would call this abuse for sure. I would agree. And this poor dog didn't even get his medicine. Yeah, Stephen Crowder is abusive. But but you know who he can abuse, guys? You know who he can abuse? Stephen Crowder is so masculine, the only people he can abuse are pregnant women at eight months. Yeah. If you're a pregnant woman who's going to give birth in a month, Stephen Crowder has the power to abuse you. Besides that, he's a weak little cuckold. 